Hey, I appreciate you watching Mondays with Mike. Uh, great devotions from our church family. Uh, Stephanie and I have, have long met every morning and had our morning coffee and done devotions together. We've incorporated our church family devotions into that. Steve Flicker's devotion this morning was based on Matthew 4, uh, 19, which uh, Jesus calling the disciples uh, saying, hey, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Every Christian has had that moment where, where Jesus called them and they said, yes, follow me. And, and, and we said, yes, and he wants to make us fishers of men, just like the early disciples. That's, that's our, our commission to go and make disciples in, in a dead and dying world. And, and Steve went on to talk about how we should uh, really make sure we find where God's working and follow him. It got me really thinking, why do we do that or not do that? And I ended up in Luke 14 this morning because of another email I received. And, and it says this about the cost of discipleship as great crowds uh, accompanied Jesus. He turned to them and said, anyone uh, that wants to follow me has to count the cost. And he actually says, if you're gonna come after me, you, you gotta, in comparison, hate your own father, mother, wife, children, and, and brothers, yes, even hate your own life, and, and, or, or you can't be my disciple. Compared to loving me, uh, it looks like hate for them. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which one of you uh, desiring to build a tower does not first sit down and count the cost of whether or not you can complete it. Otherwise, when you've laid the foundation and you're not able to finish it, the people who see will begin to mock you saying, oh, look, this man began to build, but he could not finish. Uh, I, I think of Sean and Juanita and other people I know in, in life that are kind of at that finishing stage. We all want to finish well. And Jesus says, I don't want you just to start well. I want you to finish well. And, and so I want you to count the cost of discipleship. And for a follower of Jesus Christ, counting the cost of discipleship is, is actually a great thing because the cost that we sacrifice in order to follow him actually uh, earns us reward later on. So it's a, it's a guaranteed return on investment. We have a return on investment that will far outweigh anything that we sacrifice here to follow him. Count the cost to follow him. But even greater, I think for the many Christians and for the body of Christ at large, there's a greater cost, a, a devastating cost, a cost that brings regret and shame and, and sorrow for not following him, for not obeying him, for not going where he's working, for not doing what he's called us to do. So I think the cost of discipleship is great, but there's a greater reward. But the cost of not obeying him, not fulfilling the great commandment, the great commission as we go, not obeying him regardless is far greater this week count the cost of not following him and say you know what i'm not going to go down that road anymore i'm going to make just a few simple choices every day to follow jesus regardless of where he takes me regardless of what he calls me to do i'm going to follow him and make disciples of all nations i appreciate you watching money with mike never ever forget you're greatly loved